Hey everybody, this is Koo Impact with Let's Play at the Rain Director's Cut. We are here. Oh, this is a bit loud. Loud on my end. Might have been loud on your end too. Point is, we got rid of her. So now I need to go look Employee at Employee of the month, Carlita Mendez. Ugh, what a joke. It's that obnoxious nurse. Oh hey, a name. A calendar from 19... Rows and columns of files. Oh, just use the computer. Okay, whatever. Cool. Oh, tell me it ain't that. Oh, is that not how we spell it? Uh, oh, Mendez, not Mendez. Give me a second. You gotta be kidding me. I mean, you'd realize we still have these, right? <laughs> Boot. I will boot the computer with my virus move. Okay. Nah, I don't see any reason to break this oh, computer. Damn it. String Crap. corrupted? Looks like I have to figure out the username some other way. But we have it. Otor Gador. Otagor. Uh, uh, Otor Gador. Otor Gador. Got it. I mean, that sounds like a password somebody with last name Mendez w would be. Let's go! Oh, I must have misspelled it. No. There we go. Rain. Joseph Irving Rain. Oh, 24, 1924. Patient was brought in by law enforcement in the state for confusion. No apparent exterior trauma. Pupil dilation normal. Unresponsive to other stimuli, possible stroke, referring to neurologist, preferred a diagnosis. Deceased. That's a real cool nod. Uh. Oh. Damn. Berg. I am very curious. Really fire. Damn. Jimmy. Tell me about Jimmy. I guess the computer knows nothing about Jimmy. Charles A. Oh, he is here! Gotcha. Oh, look. Yeah, referraled. Okay. AC is like... I don't know my states. I'll admit that. I, again, can't, can't fault me on all that. Would say that AC would be lucky? No. That's definitely not it. It would be the only one I can think of. Patient has undergone sex, su uh, successful invasive heart surgery and was transferred to this facility at his own request. The initial prognosis looks good, and the patient is likely to make a full recovery in six to eight weeks. He's not here for a long time. He's in room 6B. I think it's just best to cover our tracks. Do do, let's go to 6B. Up the stairs. Kathy, why'd you stop? Why'd you stop? why you do that? Oh boy, here we go. It's all right, Claude. Understood, sir. Oh, I, oh. Hello. So, you managed to find me. 
Took a little while. I did. Well, let's get this over with then. How do you want your pictures? Shall I get some tubes to fill my face with? Will that suffice for you? Wow, he seems page? pretty angry about this. I'm no journalist. Well, not yet anyway. Ah, she's but a cub. So, you're hoping for your big break. Surely this must be worth an internship at one of the big papers. Do you want me to call Thompson at the Times oh and get God, it over with? Oh my God, this man's arrogant. I still play I golf with him every once in a while. I don't need to piggyback on favors. I'll make my own way. I'm gonna tell That's him it's personal. That's not what this is about. It's personal. Sounds serious. Perhaps I should ask Claude to produce his gun. You know, Charles, the person most likely <laughs> to be harmed by a gun tends to be its owner. Very true. That's something that Japs who capture oh, you the hard way. Did my grandfather bail you out then too, or was that one of the few times where he didn't save your sorry ass? Ooh. Hold on there. Explain yourself. You're willing to listen to something other than your own voice? I'm stunned. Amazing. <sighs> I'm Kathy Williams. You should have Joseph entered was the my room grandfather. saying this. Now I remember. You were at the funeral. And you were also I was. Me. You were late. That is true. I needed my morning smoke. Besides, it's not like Grandpa was going anywhere. <laughs> oh, just look at her, Claude. She's absolutely fearless. That's Joseph's blood running through her veins. She's also a mass murderer. She maniac. certainly has a smart mouth, sir. Thanks, man. I must say, you have me intrigued, Kathy. What the can this old man help you? Son, you bought all the art. Where, where's the art? Do you know anything about Explain what happened to, me to my happened. grandfather in 81? I wish I did, Kathy. You must know I did everything in my power to help. How do you think Mary Elizabeth could afford all that expensive treatment? MRIs, neurologists, say what you will about Joseph. But he was, he was never a farmer, rich. wasn't he? <laughs> Strange. Grandma never mentioned that to me. Well, that might be She's something just we gotta confront proud. Grandma about. At first, she refused. She was convinced that I had an agenda, that there were strings attached. And Usually were there? there are. Don't be silly. Despite all that had happened, I still loved Joseph dearly. I wanted to. He was my man crush on the battlefield. People from places like this have a deeply rooted mistrust in the rich, passed on for generations. I do, do in you her blame eyes, them? I had become one of them. That, uh, so I mean, that's all I mean, you, you know just about the whole affair. Industrial revolutionized a bunch of crap. Are you implying that there's more to know? I left the diagnosis to the professionals. And those guys Mrs. are whacks. Wayne accepted the healthcare. But asked me to stay out of everything else, so I did. That's a weird request, Grandma. I see. What can you tell me about your friendship with Grandpa? Joseph was the best friend I ever had. We grew up together, married our high school sweethearts together, killed a bunch of people together. 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 Well, I can't together. even begin oh, wait to count the number of times he's saved my life. I repaid the favor once or twice, but he came up ahead, no doubt. So, when did you two lose touch? I heard that something happened between you and him. What was it? You, ah. Kathy. The truth is, Brian Rain happened. Sharon Evans happened. My parents? Yes. They ruined everything with their vile, destructive behavior. Oh, yeah, I think these I are couldn't have that better around in the new my one. daughter or my newborn grandson. Joseph was naive. He believed that anyone could be helped, that anyone could be reasoned with, given a chance. He was just too good, bless him. He should have been harder on Brian, more strict. Ooh. I'm going to I wouldn't mind teaching my old man some manners myself, wherever he is. Yes, of course. You must understand this better than yeah, anyone. Yeah, Dad did. People just like your father go. simply cannot grasp how far their bad influence spreads. So our family started drifting apart. Eventually, my company grew much too large for this little town, and we moved on. Not long so after, he was that, operating your grandfather ended up in that wheelchair. That marked the end of our friendship, for obvious reasons. 
Well, he he had brain damage. Hey, do you know anything do you about this? Do you recognize the call sign, Cocky? Would be strange if I didn't, since I was the one who coined it. It belongs to a fellow named Jimmy Cochran. He was a coward, really. The oh. nickname is somewhat of a bad joke. Perfect. Thanks. Now we have a name, Jimmy. I'm gonna have to figure out where Jimmy is. All right, what about the church? What can you tell me about the Church of the Holy Trinity? I want to know about the church. They seem like any other church to me. But then again, I'm not their usual clientele. Weddings, baptisms, and funerals are just about what I can muster. And I always leave early. That place is filled with demons, girl. All right, what tell about Jimmy? me about Jimmy Cochran. Is he still alive? In a literal sense. He's been held in a mental institution for years. Was that supposed to be? Let mean? me guess. <laughs> Since 81? Either 82 or 83. I'm fairly certain it was early 83. Do you remember the name of the institution? Something starting with an E. Uh, Emerson Everett. This man is like me. I'm senile. Ingstrom? I can't remember anything. Ingstrom Psychiatric Hospital? Ingstrom. That sounds familiar. Yes, that's the one. You know the place, Kathy. I'm gonna tell him I about do. Mom. My mother is in there. Sharon Evans? I had her committed about a year ago. <laughs> I She's see. broken. It must have taken a lot of courage to do that, Kathy. Mothers have a lot of power over us. More than most Have of you heard of the All Mother? It I has guess so. consumed your grandfather's Do you know why soul. Jimmy ended up in there? Some obsessive compulsive syndrome. He became fixated with circles and started hurting himself trying to scratch the circles out of his head. Oh, yeah, Creepy. you know, that's not uh, I something wonder what to be set concerned him off. about. I think I'll check the place out tomorrow. Too late to head back to the city now. All right, how about the dead girl? Can you tell you me about You bought a Lily? number of paintings by Lily Myers. Why? I'm known to dabble in art from time to time. Martha, my wife at the time, was enamored with the paintings. I believe she first saw them at the high school which the Myers girl attended. Ah. Anyway, after the poor girl killed herself, I bought the painting speculatively. I mean, when that's a young what you do. artist with any talent to speak of commits suicide, it can be a wet dream of certain connoisseurs. You, you know, blood for Shortly the blood after gods. procuring the art, I had it valued by an expert who determined that the value was three times the amount I bought it for. That's a pretty good picture. Today, I'm sure I would have made my money back tenfold or more if it wasn't for the art theft. What art theft? You know, there the was a thief. burglary at the mansion I used to own here in town. It was all over the local news at the time. Well, shit. Eloquently put. Well, damn. Son, we need that Can art. Can you tell me about the art theft? Can you tell me where the Somebody art theft Somebody broke happened? in, stole the paintings, and got and out. only the paintings. Very clumsy job. Lots of broken windows. The strangest thing was was that I had a Monet, a Rembrandt, and two paintings by Picasso, untouched. Mm, but yeah. every single painting by an unknown local artist, gone. That can't Specifics. be a coincidence. Agreed. Somebody wanted those paintings badly. I assume there was an investigation. Yes, Sheriff Truman came by with his deputy a few hours later, but they didn't have much luck. They found a few hairs, which turned out to be from Raffles, the family dog. Raffles is Some his name. Some stunning police work Ruffles right there. Stomp. Indeed. There was a single witness, though, who said he could make out multiple burglars leaving the scene of the crime, but nothing more than that. So, I take it the case was closed? Girl, I'm dying in bed. What do you I think the answer is? <laughs> one way or the other, given the fact that my most expensive pieces were safe and sound. I think I'll have a chat with the sheriff about the matter, if that's okay with you. Certainly. I'll call ahead and instruct him to give you everything you need. That sounds perfect. That'd be great. Thanks, Charles. Anytime. But I'm curious. What's your interest in the paintings? I've learned that my grandfather went to Sue and asked to see them. Right before he had his... injury. Is that so? Strange, isn't it? What do hey, you see this? in this picture, Charles? Fireflies would be my best guess. They can grow terribly large. This man is amazing. Pots. 
I don't need to show him that. Do you recognize hey, look, this, this is Charles? Your, this is a picture. Of course. Your grandfather, me, Jimmy Cochran, taken shortly before we went to the war. You guys look like you just won the lottery or something. Indeed. We were mere children with no concept of... We thought it was going to be cool with all the bloodletting, and then the war actually happened. Actually, do you know about this flower? Do you know what this is? A flower? Why don't you consult a botanist instead of bothering me with this nonsense? True. I don't need to show... I don't need... Uh... I don't need... He's being cooperative at the moment. I shouldn't push my <laughs> luck. I don't need... Okay. I don't need to... Okay, okay, okay. So I don't need to show you anymore. We're done here. Thanks, Charles. That's all I need for now. We're good. You're We're golden. welcome, Kathy. Come back anytime. Looks like Wade brought some of his old tombs with him. Just some boring landscape paintings. I like the yawn animation he did. A oh, look private the phone. phone. Wade must get special privileges here. I mean, he's going to take six weeks to recover. He had heart surgery. Just some boring... Is there anything else we can... Touch. That guy is huge. I wonder how many cows he eats per day. Uh, he could destroy you in a, in, in a second. Snap you like a twig. That's what he do. That is the power of being a bouncer. All right, what do we gotta go do, Sheriff? Let's go to the sheriff and get the stuff. Game's telling me to go get stuff from the sheriff. Boop's gone. Oh, right. Yeah, I tased him. <laughs> of course. I forgot about that part. Uber has been tased. All right, so to the sheriff's office. Blah, 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 blah. Every day is great at your Juness. Hey, Lenny. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? I just want to talk to you about something. I don't need to ask him that now. Do you know who Jimmy Cochran is? Yeah, I need some answers. Not really, Kathy. Sorry. He's so useless. Nah, I don't want to. Actually, what about Do this Do you know lights? what this is? I have no idea. Looks creepy, whatever it is. Where did you get it? Grandpa Found it in the had picture. it hidden away in the attic. Probably for a good reason, then. Be careful out there. It's like this man knows about the devil. Hey, Lenny, do you recognize this flower? Yeah. I accidentally inhaled pollen from one of them when I was a kid. Oh, you got I high. remember being sick and delirious for days. Hell yeah, Scary. brother. Where did you come across this flower? Somewhere in Conwell Woods. Not sure where exactly. Oh, you mean the All maze right. forest. Okay. I don't want to... So we're good. We're good, well, man. Gotta go. See ya. See ya. Uh oh. I think it's time to switch to decaf. <laughs> the plant's all dead from way earlier. Too much of a good thing will kill a plant instantly. You'd have like no hope. Hello, Sheriff. Mind if I ask you a few more questions? <sighs> if you must. I need to know about. Do you know who Jimmy, Jimmy Cochran is? Please. Nope. I don't need to ask him. Do oh, you I need know anything about the, about the art theft in the Wade estate? Um, yes, Mr. Wade phoned ahead about that. Mr. Truman's Lenny. paperwork is right here. Yes, boss. Get the report from the burglary in the Wade estate back in '86. Sounds good, right, man. boss. There you go, Kathy. Thanks, and there buddy. you go, Kathy. You finally did it. You got the paperwork, so we can go check that out in the menu now. <laughs> Had my mouse just free floating. March 11th, 1986. 1-12 a.m. The alarm in the way to stay is triggered. The house is empty at the time, and the neighbors contact law enforcement. At 2.04 a.m., officers arrive at the scene. Several broken windows can be observed. A sweep of the estate and surrounding prem premises reveals no trace of the perpetrators. A single witness at 2.20 a.m., identified as... Franklin Goldfarb reports seeing multiple burglars leaving the scene of the crime. At 12.15 p.m. the next day over... Well, yeah, the next day over. Wait, 
supposed to take messages? 11, 11, it's a.m. Then it's 12 a.m. Huh? Nani, it's already after. If it's 2 a.m., this is a whole day later here. This should still say 11 because... Or these should all say 12. Wait, this says 4. Huh? I guess this is the day, and this is December. Wait, why is it written like that? Is that normal for police reports? I'm guessing that these are the, no, because this is the this is the day. This is definitely the day. It now has 04. Oh, cause um, it took him a whole month. Took him a whole month. I'm, I'm still trying to process this. Charles Wade arrives in Conwell Springs to make his official statement. After examining the house, he reports that paintings with an, ex with an excess value of $15,000 have been stolen. 2 p.m., the art in question has not popped up yet in any circles that are known to deal with stolen goods, terminating investigation due to lack of leads. It took so many days. This is the one that looks no like doesn't make any sense though. These ones up here, like I guess because this is like a day later. At 2:20 a.m., they found Franklin Goldfarb. Maybe that's the only reason. I gotta it makes find sense. this Goldfarb guy. Maybe he knows more about the burglary. Franklin Goldfarb. I'm gonna go to the church. There's not much we can do here. I'm pretty sure that I, I I can't do anything here yet. However. Hello, Father. You're gonna go directly to talk to him? I want to go light child. something on fire. I'm glad you decided to come here. What the hell is up with the stained yeah, glass? Yeah, but just father? so you know, I'm not here to join your church or anything. Sure, you're not, oh. Kathy. You've already I would joined. That. Links in her, Good. her hand with So, his. with that out of the way, I have some questions. Anything you need. I'm Isaac Price. Oh, you mean like Kathy, the giant Kathy freaking Rain. mausoleum? I'm guessing you figured that out already. Huh? I did. Rumors spread quickly around here. So how can I be of service? Yeah, sure. He's been observing us the whole time. And this is where we end the video. So this has been Ku Impact with Let's Play Kathy Rain Definitive Edition. Uh, director's Cut, sorry. Definitive Edition. Might as well be the same thing. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment next time. We asked the good fa father about a couple of things that, you know, I've been meaning to talk to him for a while about. Let's get religious.